50 here, but we have a few others. So uh, could you take us through it? Yes, please. Thank you, Mr Chairman. This is our monthly um, report looking forward. And, and um, you may notice it's a little bit shorter than um, previous editions, not because we're not doing as much, far from it, but because um, we've actually pruned it back and it become a kind of a what we've done in the last six months. But it's really meant to just focus on, on what's coming up in the near term so that you're all across issues, particularly as they may um, impact in your particular constituencies or among your own portfolio. So uh, we're just happy to take questions on, on any um, individual item. I can answer a little piece of that. Um, my understanding, and I haven't, um, this has been a general conversation with Mr. Aidy, um, is the blanking work at this stage looks like it might be done with Pinus Radiata in, in the pieces that haven't taken. Uh, but as for the rest of it, I, I'm no wiser. So. It might be helpful, Mr. Lambert, perhaps if we just simply had a planting schedule including what's been planted and what's coming up, what remains. We, we can email something out to you. Yeah, I think that might be. Yeah. On that, because I had a, a similar question, but um, have we have we actually got a current plan for Waipua, especially given the current state of the carbon market, which drove a lot of the decision making? And in the first place, we had done a mixed model with some grazing. Has, is there still grazing on it? Could, could we come back to that question? I'm going to ask Mr Aidy to come down because yeah. there's obviously so a couple you, of questions. When you, when you do ask him, if you could cover those. Well, no, I'll ask him to come down to this item. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Helen will, thank you. And yeah, because yep. obviously there's a few things around his mm -hmm. portfolio. Okay, other questions while we wait for Mr Aidy. Biodiversity strategy. Um, and uh, I think Mr. Mohi might back, back, me up, back me up on this. I think it sh is it worth mentioning that um, at the original meeting there was uh, no representations from Māori present, and that was remedied for the second meeting. And that um, the work that's been done so far is is um, awaiting input from those Māori representatives before it carries on. But. Um, uh, Campbell has asked me to coordinate a meeting with Adele, Dr. Adele White and Petty Prentice um, to look over the whole strategy um, over the next month before the next official meeting of the Bio Fund. Chairman, the um, next question comes up every time with the coastal um, plan, it's still not back to council yeah. and we're still awaiting mm. and it's at the bottom of the pile of the ministers, I can't be bothered getting through this in tray. No, no indication. Month no update. After month after month no up, no update since the last sign. time. No. Um, Mr Chairman, now that Mr Aidy's um, in the room, um, wondering if, Mike, we could just cover a couple of questions. There's a, um, a question around the species of trees being planted in the remaining 50 hectares at Waihapua. There's, there's one of them. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, certainly there's some radiata going in, there, but that's not the full picture. So I'm able to advise just by memo, maybe, or email. Email. Yeah. And your question, Councillor? The state of the current management plan, whether we've got an overall strategy now that carbon is in the foreseeable future, not part of the, um, not a yes. financial part of the equation, and are we still looking at a um, mixed planting and grazing model? Is there any grazing still? I can, yeah, I, th I think it's best if we go through yeah. the whole management plan for that and Central Hawks Bay and Wairau and come back to you in due course, yeah. 
Thank you. Councillor Rose. Yeah, thank you, Mr Chairman. There, Mr Adie, there has been a few uh, constituent inquiries about the uh, 900 hectare rabbit control operation at the Cape Sanctuary. I just rather wonder, instead of perhaps answering questions here, do you think perhaps a, a, a short paper to the Environmental Services Committee might be helpful? There seems to be some public interest in this, um, in this um, matter of what we're doing and why we're doing it. Yeah, I mean, that, that is a contract between us and the landowners. Um, I might just seek a bit of advice from Campbell and, and Alan Beer in terms of... Um, I, I think our... councillors need to be aware of what we're doing and why we're doing okay. it. Okay. And yeah. certainly the, there's members of the public contacting me yeah. in particular about it. Well, I'll, see, I'll certainly provide a, a memo anyway on that one. Yeah. Mm. Got another question, Mr Chairman. Um, I note that not only do we have atom bombs now, but we have pitons. Can somebody enlighten me as to what this new operating, public transport operating model, and how it's vastly different from <laughs> anything else? Um, you may recall there's um, been some discussion around the impacts of legislation changes to our bus services, our contracts. Uh, so it's um, linked up with that. Councillor Mr Chair, would it be appropriate to, uh, to, to add to this um, a meeting that was held last Friday with, with um, Ian Maxwell and two staff and also um, representatives from people who are concerned about oil and gas and um could, could I ask that we perhaps have that update at the ENS meeting in a couple of weeks yep. time? Yeah. Uh, with with Mr Maxwell present and sure. et cetera. Yeah. Any other questions? Someone happy to move Councillor Scott and second of Councillor Rose. Discussion. All those in favour please say aye. Contrary no carried. Uh, Chairman's monthly report. Uh, 